what is DEM? DEM stands for the discrete or the distinct element method. It can be precisely defined as a particle scale numerical method for modeling the bulk behavior of granular materials and many other geomaterials like coal, aggregates, pellets, tablets, soil, rocks, and of course powders as well. The method can also capture the dual nature of materials, reproducing fluid and solid characteristics of the granular flow. It is a simulation of discrete elements. Uh, the method has already been applied uh, for many applications in the fields of pharmaceutical process engineering, mechanical engineering, material science, agriculture engineering, and many more. It is a mesh-free method and does not solve the continuum equations of motion. It has the ability to numerically calculate the finite particle displacements and rotations and automatically perform contact detection from an assembly of particles the equations of motion for every individual particle are numerically integrated with time for which the total force acting on the particle needs to be known. Now there are two methods for discrete simulations. One is the hard sphere approach while the other one is the soft sphere approach. The left side of this figure is showing the hard sphere approach while the right side of the figure is showing the soft sphere approach. In the hard sphere approach Impulses forces are allowed, exchange of momentum is possible, but only one collision of particle is possible at a time. While in case of the soft sphere approach, the rigid particles but small overlaps are allowed means that the particles are rigid but small overlaps are allowed and that is only because to calculate forces accurately. And simultaneous contacts are also possible in the soft sphere approach. Now, the soft sphere approach is also the most accurate uh, commonly used approach and it is also the main theme of the discrete element method. Uh, now, uh, reason being that the approach is capable of evaluating interaction forces very accurately. Also, the so approach is used in the EDM and Rocky software as well. Now, let's compare the DEM and DPM methods, the discrete particle method and the discrete element method. DEM is a method in which each particle is uh, each particle is tracked individually while in contrast to the DPM in which parcel which is a parcel based approach in which a group of particles are tracked at a time. DEM is based on the soft sphere approach while DPM is based on the hard sphere approach. DEM is best for both dilute and dense flows and gives more accurate results while DPM is only best for dilute flows and gives satisfactory results for dilute flows and means DPM cannot be used for very high concentrations of particles while DVM can be used for low and high concentration of particles for both dilute and dense flows. Now moving towards the DEM methodology Starting with the DEM algorithm, it uses the following general algorithm. For the process, each individual particle, the DEM program does the following. It locates all the neighboring particles and boundaries in which, with which the particle comes into contact and calculates the sum of forces and moments acting on the particles using the Euler equations of motion given by this simple equation which is the summation of the body forces and the surface forces. Now the body force is obviously the gravitational force while the surface forces include the contact forces uh, plus the fluid particle interaction forces. Putting these equations into the first equation, we get the final equation, which equation, which is the equation used for the calculation of the translational motion of the particle. For a moment, the EA program uses the current particle position, velocity, and the time step information to move the particle to its next position or location in the simulation. So based on that, these equations, we can calculate the new particle velocity and the new particle position in which it can be seen that the time step information and the sum of forces acting on the particle is necessary. Also, these two equations were quite similar to the first and second equations of motion. Now, the EM workflow, as can be seen here, that the contacts between if a particle comes in contact with the fluid or another particle, the forces acting on the fluid can be used to calculate the acceleration, and based on those accelerations, the new velocities and positions of the particle can be calculated. 
and the DEM cycle continues based on Newton's laws and contact mechanics.